You're listening to a DM podcast. One of the paradoxes I live with is, on the one hand, I know I'm ignorant about art and paintings. But on the other hand, at the same time, despite that ignorance, I am totally confident and comfortable with my personal taste in art. I, I know what I like. And I couldn't care less if it's fashionable or respected. Uh, I trust my gut and allow myself to love a painting and not pretend I understand it or that I'm an expert. So my house is full of paintings. All the walls are covered with paintings, none of which have any monetary value, but all of which I utterly adore. Now, a few years ago, I saw a fricative painting in a particular pared-down realistic style that I adored. I didn't think any more about it. But then I saw another one in the same style, and I loved that one even more. And then another one, and I loved that one exactly the same. And they were all done by the same artist. Now, one of the joys of hosting this show is I get to ask people I admire to take the challenge. So I sent this artist a note expressing my admiration. He wrote back a nice note. I wrote back again. And long story short, he is my guest next week. Where I feel best, my best favourite place is when I make a beautiful studio. And I, put, I always have a beautiful sound system. And there's you know, nothing makes me happier than putting on some great music and just starting a, a painting that I'm excited about. And I get drawn back into it and I have to keep finishing it. So that's my happy place. So I've had... Um, Dean Studios. I, you know, I couldn't even count them. Um, and the one I'm currently in uh, it took me almost, uh, you know, close to a year to get together. And um, it's a beautiful studio. And unfortunately, I might not be there for, the, you know, for that much longer. And I have to create a new studio. So, his name is Stuart McFarlane, and he's a lovely, fascinating fella, a national treasure in my opinion. Be sure to tune in to hear how he responded to the Five of My Life Challenge. And if you get the chance, please do check out his work. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do.